Hello, one and all, and welcome back to Hearthstone. So, what we're doing, we were playing this nice, lovely Warlock guy. In our first match, we got a win. We got a win from mere top decking. So, we have some nice, lovely gr uh, deck here. It isn't the best, but we got a nice early game and not so much of a late game. Luckily, we just got lucky from that last game by doing a Hellfire. And the zombie chow was ever so raveful as normal. When I mean raveful, I mean he's just constantly raving about nice long pink hair of his, short short, and that low crop, well, vest he's got. So anyway, let's play once again. And let's see what we are facing this time. Hopefully someone useful, maybe someone amazing. Someone possibly same as me, wanting to sacrifice everything for pure power and gain for the Elder Gods' respect. Because who doesn't love getting respect from the Elder Gods? I know I do. So it's found someone. Who do we have in our magical tournament of wonderful randomness? What do we have? We have Who's a stabby that? stabby lady. She has glowy daggers. We must what? fear her. Your Ooh, Your we have a mountain mine. giant. But we start off first. We do not want the hellfire, but we will stick with the mountain giant for now. We could possibly get a good early game. Possibly. Ah, that person's got special cards. That person has completed Nax Ramus on the hardest difficulty. This person may prove difficult. What I will do is just end my turn and tap the immediate next one to try and get that on a earlier turn. If I can get that on an earlier turn, that'd be great. I think I can probably get that on a turn four, I believe. So what do we have? Oh, we have too many haunted creepers to really play with. So let's just put one down. And see how she reacts. She's probably gonna stab it wildly, but you never know with these stabby ladies. Oh, she's coining, she's coining, she's got a nice shiny out. What's she gonna do? Let the pain she's got a guy who me. wants pain inflicted on him. He's probably covered in metal spikes and the like. So what I could do is put you down. No, actually what I could do is I wanna get rid of that. So let's put this down and do that. And just stab you with my multiple tendrils of happiness. What I mean tendrils, I mean spider legs. Just tap and get I Ooh, that'd be a great pick for next turn. Ooh, a nice curve we have. So she's probably gonna stab this guy. Or she's gonna put that down. A good card, nevertheless. Because that guy harvests crops. I mean, who doesn't love harvesting crops? But for the net for the time being, let's put you out. And let's see what we get from you. What's your help gonna be? A 4-6? That's nice to see. So let's just just attack you a lot, shall we? So next turn, we can probably get this guy out. Probably the word is. But it depends on what she plays this moment in time. What are you gonna play, my lady? I should probably be able to attack that, but I want to see what she does. You're so energized, but you can't even make her decision up. You could probably go for the stabby stabby right there. But if you get a stabby stabby out, then these spiders are gonna split off. Oh, you got that nice, lovely crocodile. Alligator type turtle. So we have you, and so what I'll do is attack you to break you. Then we got two lovely tiny glowy spiders. They got red eyes, so you know they're nice, cute, and adorable, and probably gonna hug you in the morning. So we can either, well, we don't need any healing right now, but what we will do is get you out. Now, this is a very bad thing for me, because if they have mind control tech, I could possibly implode from the inside. Now, I will want to just get rid of that immediately. There's a big card right there, but I can easily get rid of it if worse comes to worst. So what are you gonna do, my lady? I also forgot to say hello to her. How rude of me. Oh, she's doing something. She ah, a dark iron dwarf, eh? Get in there and fight, oh. Maggot. You're going, to, you're going straight to the face, aren't you? Oh, no, you're not. You're going to get with Batman. That's kind of rude of you, to be honest. Very rude. So now what I will do is actually get rid of you. Put you up. And then it does attack you. And attack you straight in the face. Bink. Uh, might as well put this out too. Why not? So he's either gonna go with my my Drake here, or he's gonna get this raving zombie with so many glow sticks that they look like arrows. Apparently they're arrows, apparently, but well, they are arrows. He's got so many arrows within him. He's kind of like a pincushion, kind of like a hedgehog. 
Now, what are you going to do, my lady? You got your stabby sticks right there, which you have not activated. And you got this mm. nice crocodile turtle type thing that's kind of smiling at me in a creepy way. I don't like it. He's also got a massive chin. What is wrong with your chin? It's kind of got a goatee on it. I guess that's why. If you've got massive chins and goatees, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you don't have an afro, because that suddenly does not suit you. Or comb over. We also got this... What are you, a sea lady? Yeah, you're a fish lady. I wonder if they can mate with murlocs. I wonder what it would be produced. So this woman does not know what... You're really going to attack that? No? Oh, she can't make her mind up. So why was she making her mind up? Let's vandalize this tavern. It's one of the things that people love about Hearthstone, in case you... Oh, yep, you are attacking that. Oh, you put that big guy out. Okay, okay. So let's see what I can actually do right here. So what I can do... It's actually, a, it's actually a tough choice on what I can do, actually. Well, the one thing I really want to do right now is... Abusive Sergeant. But now the thing is, can uh, I get rid of Abusive Sergeant yet? But making something live. I can. I can make the zombie live. But is that something I truly want? Probably not, to be honest. So what I will do, nevertheless, is tap and see what I get. Oh! I got you! <laughs> That's definitely useful. Now if I put you down, what can she do? Well, she can't actually do much, actually, so I shall put you down. Uh, shall I? Yeah, why not? And put... Actually, I don't want to put too many cards down. Next time I play you, why not? Let's just attack you in the face. There's a tough choice right there, because this glowy, muscly dude with a massive grin and a giant spike coming out of his head is basically a giant, costly thing, which... I could have got rid of that little ogre thing, but I just hope, I just hope she has no way to get rid of this giant, muscly, bound man with an axe and a giant horn. She possibly has. She has sap. Oh. I never actually took sap into a possibility. But the zombie lives. The zombie lives. Unless she pulls some daggers out and does some witchcraft. If she does some, do some witchcraft, then I'll be sad. Very, very sad. Don't do any pokey pokey. Don't, please, don't do any. Ah, oh, god damn it. She did the pokey pokey. Which means we have to say goodbye to our zombie friend. Oh, she's doing something. Oh god. Don't heal him. Oh, you're bringing him back. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm fine with that. After all, she has to have something to fight my giant. So, let's also, uh, put you down, and let's attack you. She now has a little bit of, uh, the same health as me, but I have a giant down, so she has to put down that little friend of hers. She has to. If she doesn't, then she's probably got some type of assassinate, or another type of sap. If she has sap, then I'll be very sad. That means she's gonna send the mountain giant back home. Make him back into a mountain again, rather than a walking... Uh, what, what would a walking mountain be? A pebble? Across a river? I guess. I don't know. Would, would that be a good analogy? Eh, who knows. So she's probably going to play her little friend again. Most likely. So let's, let's vandalize things some more. It brings out the inner vandal this game. Oh, she has brought her friend back. And she's going to violently stab me. Eh, not the best decision she could have done. Since that mountain giant will still survive with the help of my little friend Shadowbolt. Yes, with my little friend Shadowbolt, we will dominate the world. Goodbye, my little ogre friend. And if I do that. First kill. Hurrah! So now we should put these spiders down for some nice tenderly goodness, and what do we get? We get an Argent Commander. So next turn, we could possibly do a number of things. Do a Frostwish Warlord if she doesn't get rid of many people. She'd probably get rid of everyone, knowing Stabby Tabby people. But let's see what she did. Ah, she's got a Twilight Drake. Yeah, that's useful. And she's got a Frostwolf Man. Ah, that massive beard will bring him to some sort of glory, I guess. Sort of, we got, we got another Zombie Chow. Zombie Chow 
I don't really need you right now. But what we will do at this current moment in time is... What I'll do is put... Actually, I could maximize the amount of a thing that guy has. I could. And in fact, that's exactly what I will do. The light protects me. So let's do that and do that. And... Oh, no, let's not put that down. Let's put you down. Now you're at 8-8. Eight, eight. And if I get rid of you... And then I just attack, attack you. I could have made him a 9-9. Nine, nine. I could have. Eh, yeah, it's too late anyway. Let's just get some more cards. Hellfire. Nice. So if she spams up the board, I'll just... I burn everything in the hellish infernal goodness that we get from our friends from in the Nine House. This makes me laugh, to be honest. I mean, look at it. Wouldn't that make you laugh if, like, fire just corrupted from the earth and just burned your kneecaps off? I think that would make me very, very much happy. But now we're going to see. He's probably going to sacrifice mm. him into him. You can probably get rid of the stone, because after all, a whole tribe of, uh, well, Frost Wolf, so apparently the more people that's behind him, makes him stronger. And Giant the big, makes him bigger than muscles. He's going to get the massive muscle, but smash that Giant in the face. But it's probably going to make his elbow go right into his skull, so causing a massive amount of brain damage. I hope not. Well, I hope so, actually. Then he gets rid of, uh, gets rid of off the board. But right now, I actually have lethal, but... Ah, actually gonna do that, are you? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, what is your other card? Engaging TC oh, no, no, no! Oh, God, I... Wonderful. Ha. 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 Uh... But I have a plan. Luckily, I have this Bernie thing, and it just free damage to everyone. Luckily. So my plan is... Ooh, that's, that goes well, my plan. Ooh. So here we go. What we'll do is we will... I think you'll be the only person standing, which is kind of a shame. Um, what we'll do is poke I you fight. in the face. And then I will attack you in the face. Attack you in the face. And then Hellfire. Now, the possibility of what I can do next is I can ensure my victory with you. In fact, I'm going to put you down. Squire, attend me. And just hope she doesn't have enough mind ready, control tech. Sir. Or some type of massive AoE. Now, she can get rid of the 8 damage if she somehow magically gets five, well, an extra piece of damage out of nowhere. She can take it herself and die instantly. But that really depends on what might happen. Hopefully it doesn't happen, and hopefully she survives another day. But in a more crippled state than she will probably even fight this guy, who can fight a, a giant mountain. So many options. Oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, my friend? I should really put the fell guard down to really make things solid. Oh, hello, Baron. Ha. Ha. Huh. Oh. Huh. All right. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. So I'll just put this down. Is my I will put this down. And hope nothing bad happens on this. I mean, it can't take both things out. Well, I hope she can't. If she can, then I'll be very much sad. Oh, God. What are you going to do, my friend? Oh. Well played. She took the honourable way. But the honourable way out. Dying to the Moo person. When I mean the Moo person, I mean there was the, um... The Sunfire person. Sunfire person? I can't talk. I mean the moose woman, cow woman type thing. Weren't cows already kind of like female cows? I don't know. I have no idea, actually. Well, maybe I might next time. So, I'll see you later and take care of yourselves.